one of the most unusual diagnoses that your mom and dad might get after they come to the hospital is called acute delirium. This is one of the most frightening and distressing diagnoses for family, for the nurses, and most of all, even the doctor. Delirium is defined as a waxing and waning of consciousness. They don't know where they're at, whether it's night or day, even though the symptoms are worse at night. They can become agitated, confused. They may leave their room. They may take their clothes off. They can become combative and in a few instances even hit people. This can be caused by a variety of reasons, such as uncontrolled pain or getting a medication for pain that is inappropriate or too much for them, such as IV opioids, for example, morphine. Or they can have an infection, such as a pneumonia or a urinary tract infection. There are easy tests to diagnose those. For males, if they don't empty their bladder completely and they're holding on to urine, that has also been implicated in delirium or mental status changes. Other conditions can include being on sedatives, being on anticholinergics, such as antihistamines, Benadryl. And then one of the most common reasons and factors that are attributed to delirium includes just simply being in the hospital. There's a lot of things that we do to patients when they're hospitalized. We wake them up in the multiple times at night. They're not able to get continued uninterrupted sleep. We strap them in. We put peripheral IVs, often two. They get one in each arm. They're stuck for morning blood draws. We're talking about 4 to 6 a.m. And then they have IV pumps that are giving them fluids or medications that sometimes beep. Then they've got the hospital beds to sleep in. They don't have their family. They have strangers checking in on them. It is just a very difficult place to get rest. And then we put monitors such as a heart monitor, oxygen lines, and it all adds up. So one of the ways we treat acute delirium is we try to lessen and minimize all of that. We control their uncontrolled pain. We diagnose and treat their infections. And in rare instances, if none of that works, then we start testing for other things. It is very rare for stroke to be a cause of acute delirium, but it is possible and I have seen it on a couple occasions. Delirium is very distressing to everybody involved, but with identification, with treatment, and with calming measures, there is a solution for combating it. Follow me if you like this content. I'm here to make the medicine make sense.